Budapest is a wonderful city geared towards tourists. With attractions, sightseeing tours, restaurants and experiences all carefully designed to give visitors a little slice of Budapest life. But unfortunately, not all of these are created equal. Some operators are wonderful, but there are a few that are giving overpriced and underwhelming attractions to tourists. And also, Budapest is much safer for tourists than most big cities, but still there are some tourist traps that you need to avoid. So in this video, I will talk about 7 plus 1 common tourist mistakes and tourist traps that you should avoid in Budapest. But first, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. I need to feel your support to motivate me to keep going with these videos. So please subscribe to show your support for my activities. Thank you. Taxis are one of the most popular tourist traps everywhere in the world. Sometimes it might be hard to find right and reasonable prices for the taxi ride. Well, for a few years now, only licensed taxis with a fixed rate system can operate in Budapest. But still, I often hear stories about tourists who had to pay several times the usual price. So I just have two simple suggestions. First, if possible, don't take a taxi on the street. It's better to order one by phone. And second, make sure to ask the approximate price of your trip beforehand. And if the driver says that it will be what the meter will show, ask again. Insist on an estimate. And within the city, a ride should not cost you more than three to 5,000 forints, at most about 20 euros. Fortunately, the public transportation system in Budapest is extremely efficient and prices are reasonable. So I suggest that you take public transportation as much as possible. But you must keep in mind that just to have a ticket in Budapest is not enough. You have to validate them on the vehicle. You have to put it into that small machine which punches or stamps it. Please always keep your ticket until the end of the trip because the Budapest Transport Police take their jobs very seriously. They check tickets rigorously and are not afraid to hand out significant fines even for a first-time offenders. And well, I'll be honest, I've experienced that they actually do target tourists specifically. This is an awful practice for which I as a local would like to apologize. When traveling, I always prefer walking tours with a knowledgeable local guide to explore a new place. But if you're a bit lazy and want to sit back, I suggest that you use the public transportation instead of the expensive hop-on, hop-off buses that have boring audio commentary. In particular, I suggest tram number 2, which goes along the Danube on the Pest side, or bus number 16, the Castle bus, with which you can explore the residential area of the Buddha side. And also, there are public boats which you can take sightseeing on the Danube for just about 1 euro, the price of one transport ticket. Budapest has numerous wonderful restaurants, but unfortunately some others are targeted at tourists. They are in the tourist areas obviously, they are simply overpriced and they charge you a lot more for average food and service than what I, a local, would pay. A tourist menu is basically just this. It's an expensive menu for maybe double or even triple the price of what a local would pay for a relatively simple dish. They're advertised again in the tourist areas. It is best to avoid them. Keep in mind, simple rule, any restaurant that has people begging you to come in is a sure bet to be avoided. So please do that. Pickpockets are in every major city and unfortunately Budapest is no exception. They are present in crowded areas, such as the public transportation, in particular on the escalators of the metro is where you should be particularly careful. You should always watch who is coming too close, and you should never have your money all in the same place, and if possible, don't have the passport with you if you can leave it in a safe. Well, it seems quite obvious, but if random people approach you on the street, then most probably that's another tourist trap. These situations can have plenty of forms and variations, but in the end, they're typically scams. So if a guy offers you to sell incredibly cheap Louis Vuitton scarves or iPhones, 
or if somebody wants to convince you to take part in any kind of game for money. Or if a random girl asks you to take them to the bar, then all of these will have outcomes that are very predictable. The merchandise that you buy will be counterfeit and the electronics will stop working. You will find out that winning in the shell games is impossible and you will be ripped off. And that gorgeous girl will refuse to pay and disappear, leaving you with a huge bill at the bar. I hope it's needless to say that you should never change money in the streets. Besides being against the law, you will be easily cheated and end up with counterfeit money. If you absolutely need to exchange money the moment you get into the country, then you should only change enough to get you where you are going, and then you can hunt down a better rate later in the city. The overwhelming majority of places accept credit cards, but still there are a few museums even, toilets, and other local places that only accept our local cash, the Hungarian foreign. So you should have with you a few thousand forints, maybe three to five thousand forints of Hungarian cash with you, just in case. Obviously, the baths are one of Budapest's main attraction. Clearly, Sechen and Galliad baths are the most popular, and some would say the most beautiful. But they are actually fairly expensive and often filled with tourists, and they rather limit your ability to relax. So my final suggestion is that you should do yourself a favor and give some of Budapest's smaller baths a chance. Check them out as well. If you're an experienced traveler, then most probably you're familiar with some of the tourist traps in different parts of the world. But in this video, I wanted to show you the specific mistakes and traps that you can avoid during your stay in Budapest to save you money, time and to keep yourself safe. I hope you enjoyed my video, please do subscribe to my channel to motivate me to keep going and do enjoy your stay in Budapest.